Hello everyone, my name is Andre Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and video maker, and today I'm going to give you 5 reasons why you should buy an XE4 in 2023. For those of you new to the channel, I've been using Fujifilm cameras for a while now, and my go-to cameras are the X-T5 and X-H2S, so if you are interested in those cameras as well, check out my videos and subscribe, this helps me a lot. The first one is the price, considering the big increase in price of the X100V and the prices of the newer models, this camera in my opinion is a steal. If you want to get in the Fujifilm system with a new camera, this is in my opinion the gate. There are other cameras you could buy new for a difference in price, like the exceptional X-T3 or the X-S10, but if you want a rangefinder style camera, and what can I say, I prefer this design over the others. The X-E4 is your best option and the great thing is, it has the specs that you really need from its bigger brothers. And that is reason number 2, specs. So this camera has the same sensor as the X-T3, X-T4, X-Pro3, X-S10, you get the point. And this sensor has a resolution of 26 megapixel that is more than enough for everything these days. In my opinion, this is the perfect resolution. I know even less is more than enough, but this gives you the option to crop and reframe your shots without giving you some big files like the X-T5. When it comes to dynamic range, colors and low light performance, this sensor is amazing. It was the best APS-C sensor when it came out, and maybe it still is. And when it comes to video, you can get some beautiful footage with the X-E4 because you can use all the film simulations when you use video. And the Eterna Cinema is just so good for color grading. Yes, you don't get the 10-bit recording or the 60 frames per second like on the X-T4 or X-T3, but 8-bit 420 is more than enough if you want to record any YouTube video. And of course, you will get those beautiful Fujifilm colors and film simulations. Yes, you get all the film simulations the X-T4 and other cameras have. You won't get nostalgic negative from the X-T5, X-H2, X-H2S, but you get the ability to use custom recipes. All that Fuji goodness in a beautiful small package. And this takes us to reason number 3. It's beautiful and simple design. Just look at this camera how nice it is. The design is just gorgeous. I like the lack of a grip. In my opinion, it was ugly on previous models. And if you really want a good deep grip, you can buy one. I love the fact that it has so few buttons. I usually customize the hell out of my camera, but with the X-E4, I just want to take the burden of settings off and just take photos. And this is helped by the reason number 4, and that is the screen. I just love the tilt screen of the X-E4. It's such a great design for photography, but also video. And the fact that it fits the body of the camera so well, like it isn't a tilt screen there. Just look at this one on the X-T5. It is so useful for street photography, giving you the ability to easily shoot from low angles or from above but you can also use it to take photos of yourself and family, or film yourself. Yes, if you put a microphone in the hot shoe it will block your view, but there are mods you can use to overcome this. And my final reason of course is weight and size. This camera is so compact and I like that you can change lenses because Fuji has so many good lenses you can pair with this camera. Just look at it when you put the 27mm f2.8 Mark II. It looks great and you can easily put it in your jacket pocket. I also use the 16mm f2.8 for its size, but my favorite is the 35mm f1.4. 
These are my favorite lenses to use with the X-E4, but there are other great options and I hope Fujifilm will one day update the 18mm f2. Being so small and compact makes it a great travel camera. You can put it in a small shoulder bag with the lenses I mentioned and you got yourself a perfect travel kit. It is so easy to grab this camera and take photos without being burdened by buttons, too many settings, weight, the lack of a screen, it's just pure photography. I'm going to make more videos about this camera as I use it more. So subscribe and ring the bell, also check out my many other videos about Fujifilm gear. See you soon.